Ava, and today I am with some of my friends from summer break, and literally their names are the easiest thing to remember. Ava, hey. Ava, hey. and Yon. Hey. <laughs> summer break is coming to an end. It's almost August. It's really sad. But for today, I thought that we would keep with the summer theme on this channel and do a video of all of us talking about summers as a kid versus summers being older and being in high school and kind of growing up. So we've had quite a few summers. 17, 17 18. 18. 20, wow. 17, 17. I am just like the elderly father. Yeah. <laughs> the father. Of the so thanks to ATT for bringing us all together because now I have these epic friends. And uh, without further ado, let's get started in this video. How are swimsuits different when you were a kid versus how they were now? Well, I know for me personally, when I was a kid, I used to wear board shorts. And now, as a teenager, I still wear board shorts. <laughs> <laughs> was like, as you get older, people wear shorter bathing suits. It doesn't really make sense. Were you one of those kids that like wore um, like t-shirts to the pool? Oh, of course. <laughs> I got it all wet. I don't Just like that. a droopy white yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Like, <laughs> it's funny how like as a kid, you would wear like floaties and you would get crocodile floaty yeah. and like the colorful floaty and now it's like they're still cool but it's like you have to get the donuts and you have to get like the pizza yeah, yeah. The swan. The swan. you have the to swan have swan the swan. Is so, swan, you are you. so i know like being a girl growing up like now swimsuits are so important like oh, you oh. have to have swimsuit goals and post that instagram photo swimsuits are so expensive like back then but now like if i go to a swimsuit boutique it's like a hundred dollars you top. pick up like a string and they're like okay 200 yeah and you're like i could make this at home out of my shoe exactly at least for me when i went to camp and i was like a little kid i would have like this one girl crush you know, it was just like this one little person you get to like hold hands with, you know, and you like go to you like go to the beach and stuff together and like dig holes and like like make, make little yeah, I had a privileged childhood. <laughs> I didn't get to take my crushes to the beach. I feel like dating as a kid in the summer, it like doesn't even exist. Like you like somebody and you're like, this summer it's gonna happen. And then that kid goes off to like summer vacation. And, and like Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, and you're oh, like, you never see them again. No, no, growing up, beach clubs are big here. Oh, so okay. when you grow up with like the same guys, you see them from when like, you're a baby to when you're a teenager. So mm -hmm. they, yeah. you they like progress and blossom. Mm -hmm. Like when you're younger, it's like everyone plays together. And then now you're like, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want to know what childhood dating was? Childhood dating was play dates. That is what childhood so dating accurate. was. And so it's like when, so you're, when your mom decided that they, they, like, they like the parents or something or yeah, like yeah. the daughter, yeah. that then you got they to hang out with them. Like, there's no <laughs> other way that you could ever hang out with someone that was not an arranged They're like little arranged Yeah. <laughs> now that like phones exist and like younger people have phones, now you can like stalk guys' Instagrams oh, and see like so where they're gonna be in the summertime. So like before oh. you couldn't see what a guy was doing in the summer, you would just hear about it like when you get back from school. But now like if a guy is at Chipotle by the beach, you could be at that Chipotle in like five minutes. Or just show up and be like, oh hi. I didn't know you were here. here. Yeah, Does that happen a lot? Oh, yeah. the ice cream truck was the most cre As long as you had money for the ice cream truck, it didn't really matter what you had in your pocket. In the summer, <laughs> the ice cream truck would come around and like everyone would be getting the like fancy ice cream sandwiches and stuff. And I couldn't afford that, so I'd get like the little rainbow. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, the little rainbow. The 50 cents one. Or like, like the SpongeBob, the SpongeBob. On no, the SpongeBob was too expensive <laughs> with the gumball eyes. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, That's that too much. <laughs> When you're old, you have to like hoard money. Like if your parents give you five dollars for lunch, yeah. you buy a two dollar lunch, yeah. and then you keep the <laughs> three dollars for later. Of it. And then all your friends are constantly like, "Hey, let's do this, let's do that," and you're like, "I don't have money I have for that." Four dollars. <laughs> Like when I was young, nobody wanted to take pictures, and now like everyone, all they want to do is take pictures. It's, like yeah. very different. I remember like having like windy cameras, yeah. and you would take one photo, and like usually it would turn out pretty good. Like you, your parents would snap like only one photo because you only had like twenty in the roll, and then you'd go to like Rite Aid to get them the printed out. One. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like that one photo would usually turn out like you like you, you wouldn't look horrible, but now it's like if you take one photo, you look like freaking horrible. Like, like, <laughs> looking back on old like pictures, like actual pictures. They didn't have a choice. Like they, they looked okay. Like I don't think I looked super bad in any of them, but now like if you just take one photo, like it's probably gonna be a bad yeah, photo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like yeah. the stakes are higher. 
Like when you're young, yeah. like you had one photo, you better not mess that up. It's like Polaroids. Sorry. Yeah. Right. With summer, like I feel like now people have to prove what they're doing at like all times on Instagram. Yeah. If yeah. It's not on Instagram, you need to. Or like Snapchat, yeah, exactly. like you have to take photos on Snapchat of what you're doing. Then you have to Instagram it. Then, then you have, have to like, tweet. Yeah. yeah you and then you make a Facebook album yeah. at the end. Of yeah. Oh, yeah. Of everything. everything you did summer over that. Summer 2015. Yeah. So those are some of the differences between being a kid during summer and being older and much wiser in the summer and i hope you guys enjoyed it and you know got some relatable moments in your life today be sure to check out season three of summer break because it's really awesome and you guys can check it out in the link down below and subscribe to them because you guys are awesome you're pretty amazing anybody I named say, ava so. is awesome and, 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 and named and, yon and yon yeah. <laughs> be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below what your favorite summer memory is and i'll comment mine and we like talk about our summers in the comments down below and uh thanks AT&T for bringing us all together here on my couch my brand new couch this came in today guys uh and I love you guys we'll see you guys very soon bye, bye. bye. I was like ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>